Hi, I'm Dr. Catlin Tucker, and in this virtual coaching session, I want to talk about a small group instructional strategy that's great for math teachers. So if you're a math teacher and you're a little frustrated because you are working with students who don't seem that interested in, in, in the actual instruction, this is a really fabulous strategy to use. So the idea is that unlike traditional instruction, we're actually inverting things a little bit. So we're starting not with the instruction, not with a modeling session, but instead presenting the group with a hook. The hook is an unfamiliar problem, task, or challenge. This is designed to kind of pique their interest. It is also an opportunity for them to get more comfortable approaching new and novel situations and problems and attempting to work through them. Instead of shutting down and saying, I don't know how to do that, they lean in and they start thinking critically, they creatively problem solve, they communicate and collaborate with their classmates. So in addition to piquing their interest, we're also cultivating those four C's of 21st century learning. So we present the hook or that unfamiliar problem and then I like to strategically pair students. So they're working with another student to attempt to solve the problem. If you're working at a teacher-led station and you have eight students or six students, you can always divide the group in half and have two small groups, or you can do that strategic pairing and give them a set amount of time to attempt to solve the problem. So maybe it's a five-minute or six-minute window of time for them to really wrestle with the problem, trying to figure out where would we start? What would we do next? What strategies would we use? And the goal for us as educators, as the small groups or the pairs of students are attempting to figure out how do we solve this unfamiliar problem, task, or challenge, we're really observing. What are we noticing about the groups or the pairs? What are they doing quite well? What are the strong strategies being used? Where are the gaps, the misconceptions? This is what's going to help us tailor our instruction to that specific group's needs. So we're observing and really trying to learn about our students from watching them work together. Step three, this is guiding a quick debrief, right? And this might only take two or three minutes. What did you guys do? Why did you do it that way? What strategies did you use? What bumps did you hit? And then we get down here to step four, which is the instructional piece. And hopefully it is a differentiated experience where we are focusing on problems at different levels of rigor and complexity, depending on what this group is ready for. Maybe we have deconstructed examples or other kind of supports and scaffolds that we can pull into that experience if students need them. So for example, I was working with a teacher who was going to be doing an entire instructional session about finding the area of a polygon. This is not the first kind of shape that they found the area of. So this teacher decided for each of the groups, they were going to present them with a graphic of a polygon and ask them, how would you go about trying to find the area? I want you to try to find the area of this polygon. We can also differentiate the hook. So the teacher used different polygon shapes, different complexities, different ones that were more or less rigor, depending on what they thought the group they were working with was ready for. Then they allowed the students to attempt to solve and had graph paper and colored pencils and things out for students to use, and then guided the debrief and followed with that differentiated instruction. I've worked in elementary classrooms where they'll start with a math puzzle and have students work to try to uh, untangle or figure out how many rectangles are in this math puzzle, right? So lots of different ways to do this. And often we're just pulling the hook from the instructional materials, the math curriculum. So you don't have to go find something totally unrelated. Most math curriculum, we can't get through anyway. So let's grab one of those questions or a couple of them, use them for our hook strategies, grab students' interest and attention so that when we get down here to instruction, they're more interested in the answer or the explanation because now they've sat in that space of productive struggle.